David, firstly, just give us your reaction to that 90 minutes this evening. It was a tough 90 minutes. We've um, spent more time tonight without the ball than what we have done in many games. Certainly I've been involved in with the group. Um, but I thought they defended really, really well. Um, obviously there's a lot of situations in and around our box. We've had to stand up, um, if not block or make tackles. Um, Jay's been called on a few times as well tonight. So I don't know what the stats is at the moment, but I think it would be quite high in terms of possession and opportunity for Hammerby. So for us to come away with a, not just a, a result, but a win tonight. Um, and to you through was, um, was a really, really top performance, but in a different way from probably what we normally be speaking about just now in terms of spending more time with the ball, creating lots of opportunities. That was different tonight. Um, so a lot of credit to the players to deal with that. And you touch on it there, having less possession and really having to fight for the win tonight. What do you think that says about the character of the squad? Well, it shows a lot, for sure, because obviously they're at half-time, they know the situation, but they know they've spent a, a difficult first half trying to find out how to prevent Hammerby from finding the spaces in the areas that, that were making it difficult for us. Um, so they knew that. They, they always made sure they stayed in the fight, they never gave anything up, which is, is a key aspect to have. You know, when you come to European games, which is new for a lot of these guys, they know it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and they have to just try and stay focused. Um, because when you're not spending a lot of time with the ball, you've still got a job to play. Um, I think, as I say tonight, from the front line, back towards the back line and, and, and goalkeeper, it was a terrific defensive performance. And it was a, a great challenge, obviously, against Hammerby, and, and great to progress the next round too. It's a magnificent reward for the guys. Um, a lot of people thought maybe us winning three nothing in the first leg, Hammerby weren't a particularly good side, and then nothing could be further from the truth. Um, Hammerby tonight showed that they're a top top side, um, and our lads can be really, as I say, proud of their performance and focus and ensuring that where we could we could play, but where we couldn't we had to stay in the game. And to, it's exciting now to go to the next round um, to play against September Sofia. It's another exciting reward. Um, obviously, it's a bit further down the line, but when we'll look at it closer to the time, the analyst team will start looking at what the what challenges they might bring um, already. We'll do it quite early. But in the meantime, we need to start looking forward to obviously the next challenge at the weekend and obviously next week. Yeah. And you touch on that next challenge there. It's obviously on Saturday, travelling back tonight and, and a quick turnaround for players. Is that a different thing for them to deal with too, the off-the-pitch side of it? Yeah, and we, we want that. So obviously, you know, if you're going to play first team at Rangers, you have to get used to travelling. You have to get used to coming back quite quickly and go back into a league game, a different environment, a different expectation. Um, so that's an exciting challenge for the guys to go and manage and deal with. Um, We'll know how that is after the game because as I say, it's, they've not travelled back, they've played home games then in terms of home European game and then playing at the weekend, but they're travelling this time very quickly after the game. We'll head over obviously tonight after um, we get away from here. So it's a different challenge, but as I say, this is part of the development. It's an exciting part of the development. They're, you know, they use the word buzzing and they're just now, they're, they're high as kites. And we have to try and manage that emotion just now and enjoy that emotion to be fair. But once we get back tomorrow night at the train ground to recover, and prepare for the game on Saturday, that's the, the next step in this journey. And lastly, just a, a quick one on Leon King, he obviously came off with, with a sore run tonight, how's he doing? Well, first I think he was tremendous tonight, along with many others in that defensive line and goalkeeper. Um, he's took a, a, a knock in the ankle, um, he's getting assessed at the moment, hopefully we'll find out very shortly you know, how that's going to be, probably closer to tomorrow. Um, yeah, it was a sore run, and obviously you're, at that stage of the game you're not wanting to lose um, any defenders, but I have to say Greg Allen came on as a real youngster, um, came in there and, and looked really assured, won his tackles, we had to win them, played when he had to play or he could play. Um, so an exciting part of his development as well and what was a difficult, difficult environment.